girls and guys, it is Sida from Sida Let's Play and Sida Let's Chat and we are back with another episode of Minecraft Comes Alive and today I want to show you what I did uh, with the house and then also where I'm going to start building the school because I changed my mind a little bit. Um, but first let's go take a look at our children who I think are, yeah look! Caden is now all grown up and he looks like he stepped out of a Pokemon episode with his little... Look at his hair. Look at... He was born stylish. He got that from his daddy. Um, yeah, look at him. He, he's he got major swag. And then... Um, so we have Caden here and Kiana here. And uh, she's, she had a, she hit her growth spurt. He's, he's a little behind. But you know, usually boys grow a little bit slower and then they just... Don't stop growing. Um, so yeah, I actually have to um, do a few things today. But um, I wanted to start off by just showing my children. I have so many kids now. That means I have like four kids. That's insane. I need to stop producing them. Um, but yeah, look at how cute Kaden is. I do want to take um, them with me on a trip, but I'm not sure. I'll decide in a second. Um, so let me go ahead and show you guys what I did with the house. Originally, the house was gonna was right here, that house that I built for Steph and Roger. But I decided to go ahead and move it, which I actually need them to come follow me because I need to set their, their homes in the new house. Uh, come here. Come here. Come here. Stop running away from me. Okay. And so, yeah, I switched things up just a tiny little bit. So just basically moved it to the other side and then I did furnish them. So I want to go ahead and show you that as well. Let me go put them in their room first. Come in here. So set home here. Why was it invalid? Set home. There we go. Now stop following me, woman. And now where is Roger? Didn't I have Roger here with me? Roger? Did, did Roger like disappear? Oh, our, I need Armando as well. Follow me. Ah, oh, there he is. There's Rod. How did you not get through the door? Come on. Yeah, you're my best friend too, Armando. So we need to get Roger in here. Come in, Roger. Oh, it's the door, isn't it? Yeah, it's the door. All right, let's get this door out the way. All right, and then you sit home here. And then you could stop following me. And then let's put your door back. Move. There we go. And then we need to get Armando. And then what we're going to do is... So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the room. But I just don't want to forget to put Armando in here. Where did he go? Come here. Come in here. The doors, aren't they? Uh, I wish that they didn't need doors. But I don't want any any zombies to come in and after them when they're in the house. Because that's not a good look. Come on. Let's go in here. In here, Armando. There we go. Perfect. Set your home here. And let's put your doors. And then I need one more door here. Oh, you guys could stop following me. You guys, you guys don't need to follow me around. Have be free. Roam the round. Roam the world. Just stay in the village. So here's their little bathroom. A little toilet here. Sink. Little flower pot. Nice little weird broken mirror looking thing. But and then somebody can see you going tinkle tinkle in your toilet. Perfect. Perfect. And this is their little kitchen. Nice little table here forgot their door um and then here is the parents bedroom so this is how it's gonna whoa what happened here this is how the parents bedrooms are all gonna be just the bed little headboard nice one little chair bookcases and their little stuff to put away all their stuff and then the children's room will always get a nice little computer with a nice little desk bed and a flower pot uh, might put some pictures or more things in there but yeah very simple like i said it was gonna be the reason why I moved the house is because I needed room for the school. I wanted the school to be cool, like in the center and I don't want my house to be off somewhere in the world. So I think I am going to continue using this as my, as my plot for my house. But I might just make it a few stories or whatever. Um, but yeah, this is going to be the school. But I ran out of resources. That is why we are going to go on a little adventure today. Um, but yeah, this is going to basically be the school. The kids are going to come in here. I plan to have like... Uh, a couple classrooms. No, maybe like three. One for the little, really little kids, and then one for like teenagers, and then 
the kids who want to go have an education when they're nice adults. So I had to take down the farm. Uh, and it was just sugar canes and carrots. So I decided to put the sugar cane around here because I thought it looked nice anyway. It doesn't really make anything look bad. And yeah, so I'm going to make more houses like that one. Um, and I think, it I think it'll be nice. So now is the question of whether or not I should take Kaden and Kiana on a little trip with me to get um, some clay. And the reason why I want to take them with me is because I don't want to make the same mistakes I made with Alicia. So I think I am, I, as far as little Ricky and Miranda, I, I don't know what's going on with them. They're kind of off in their own world. I'll go visit them really quick, see how they're doing. But, um, I think you're talking to the wrong person. I, yeah, this is what I get. It's, it's a lot of Miranda blames little Ricky for being a certain way. And then little Ricky just wants to avoid everything. He just wants to go anywhere else besides home because he doesn't want to deal with Miranda. But, yeah, it's just, I'm letting them deal with their own thing. I haven't seen little, um, you know, Timmy around in a while. So I'm a bit worried. Uh oh, I forgot to, sp Kiana, why is Kiana, oh, because Kiana is, I gotta go to sleep. I hope, uh, Kaden is still in the house. <gasps> oh my gosh. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. Go, go, go. Good. All right. Uh, where's Kaden? Let's set your home in here, buddy. Let's go in here. Come on. Come on, Kaden. All right, good. And then stay. And set home. Go ahead. So I think I am going to take them. I just want to go ahead and make them some armor so they're nice and safe. Uh, I'm not going to give them a sword. That means I need to get some gifts from the villagers because I don't have enough time. In. So they're actually going to stay in here for a while while I go get lots and lots of presents. Hopefully they give me diamond blocks because I need quite a bit of them. Uh, Monarch. Demand gifts. What did you give me? You gave me wood. Useless. I should behead you. Or D is behead. Yes. What did you give me? Oh, I like that you gave me some pants. Uh, thank you for that. You are gonna get a cookie. You're gonna get. You're gonna get promoted to head nighter. Um. Demand a gift. Oh, YouTube. Oh, gosh, Billy. Gosh, you're amazing. Uh, this house empty. Oh, look at you all. Oh, what, are, what, are you doing, doing, doing? what are you all doing in here? Huh? What's what's going on? What, what's, up, what's up, Cleveland? You doing all right? With with uh, with Christine and Skylar? Hmm? I, don't, I don't know. I thought I thought Cleveland showed some interest in both of them, but I guess he can't choose, so he's going to have both of them. What kind of... He's a he's a player player, and these are trick of swords. All right. Let me get some... Come on, what are you gonna give me? You give me cop. If Kristen gives me a better, whoever gives you a better gift is the one that you're gonna end up with. You know that, because I don't want any kind of shady business going on in here. You can't have both. You have to decide. You can't play with both of these women's hearts. All right, Cleveland. All right, I'm glad we're on the same page. She gave me. You know what? Don't date either of them. You, you're my sister. I expected more from you. You have nephews and nieces that need these diamonds, and you don't even give them to them. Huh disgraceful uh monarch my gift oh <gasps> thank you autumn thank you so much autumn she just can't she thought ricky would be little ricky would be here because uh she wants to try to talk to him try to get him to understand that he needs to hear out what miranda has to say he can't just dismiss what she has to say more wood you know i i forgive you sarah because you're you're sarah <laughs> you're kind of a little bit you're a little bit moody, but that's okay. We still love you. We still appreciate your your company in this village. And oh my gosh, why did they give, give me Ender Eyes? Uh, thank you. Now I have enough armor for one child, maybe. Monarch, you gave me arrows, which I don't need, Roger. Gosh, Roger. Timmy, Timmy's all grown up now. Uh, oh, interesting. High five, all right. Joke, haha, -ha. you know how to make me laugh. Let's give you a gift of meat. Uh, tell a story. You're all right. So let's play, I know. Um, I'm not sure why sometimes it says that his parents are deceased. I think it's whenever he's mad at them. <laughs> but now it says it's right, so I don't know. Can I demand a gift for my own grandson? That's kind of mean, isn't it? Huh? I give you lots of gifts, though. For Christmas, you're gonna get a big present, I promise. Oh. Uh, Hazel, I haven't forgotten about you, Hazel. Oh, just wood. 
What about little Ricky, huh? What? Do, how is he gonna be as an as an uncle? No. Yeah. Why can't a man gifts for my own children? Ah, oh, that's horrible. That's horrible. 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 Wait, it let me get some from Alicia, didn't it? I'm not sure. I don't remember. Okay. He wants to come back in the house. No, he can't. Little Ricky can't keep running away from his problems. He just can't come and stay in my house. Um. All right. So I got 35 diamond. I got locked. I have enough for one set of armor, basically. You just need to make the helmet and then the two boots, and then we're good to go. I just don't want them going out there and without any kind of protection. So let's go ahead and make that. Okay, we are good. We have lots of diamonds now. I, I'm thinking, whoa, Ricky, what are you doing in there? Can I, uh, can, I can't demand gifts from you either. Can I give you a kiss? Mwah. I know I'm too good for you. I'm already romancing you. Why are you always so grumpy? Uh, okay. We have all that stuff. Do we have any other sword? Any iron? Anything like that? I did use a lot of iron for the um, school. So that's why we need to go get clay so we could finish it off. But like I said, I don't want to go by myself. I guess um, Kiana will get the sword since she was born first. So let me give them to you as a gift. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh. I'm already beating my children. That's not good. And then, oh, she got grumpy pants like her dad. I think so. Interact gift. I understand. I just punched her in the face. So maybe that why, that's why. Somebody was really, really not nice in the comments and told me that because what I gave her two sets of pants. Kiana wasn't beautiful and that I should kill her. I think that's a mean thing to say because Kiana is beautiful. And one day she'll grow up to be a beautiful woman. But I think that's a cruel thing to say to someone. Well, I was like, is this, is this Kaden? That's crazy. Uh, but yeah, I think she is beautiful. She just needs a bath. That's it. She's just a little bit, a little bit dirty. She has a little bit of dirty spots. That doesn't make her not beautiful. Uh, I don't understand why people would say such mean things like that. So I blocked that person for being mean. Because that's my child you're talking about. Oh, it's just some of the things we have to deal with as parents. People aren't always going to be nice to your children. Now, where is Kaden? Kaden, he couldn't have gone far. Whoa, she's fast. Look at her. She keeps up. Good job. Uh, is Kaden trying to make friends? Oh, there he is. He's talking to his aunt Kristen. She doesn't talk to her too much. She's kind of a, she's kind of a bit strange. Okay, just kind of look the other way. Oh, I can't give it to you as a gift because you're too young, little one. And oh, I gave you the wrong sword, didn't I? You could have the diamond one. Oh, why are you crying? What's happening? Why are you unhappy? You need to exercise, but I don't. Well, look, son, you don't have to be mean just because I gave birth to you and it took a lot, right? Okay, now you have your sword. Let's go ahead and give you your armor. We're good. Oh, look at them. They're just so adorable. Now, let's go. We're going to go get some uh, clay. I have fortune. Yep, I do have my fortune pick. My fortune... Um, shovel so that's good let's go ahead and get out of here try to find as much clay as we can so we can finish this school so you guys could get a good education because that's what we want in life we want you guys to to be able to take over the throne one day actually i think i might be better off getting using silk and that is what your dad and i want for you guys to be smart intelligent people who could do whatever you want whether that be taking over the throne being a farmer, whatever it is, you do your best at it. That is the key to success. Oh, actually, uh oh, yes, we're doing fine. But you guys have to keep up because I don't want you guys dying or getting hurt. And we need to be back before nightfall because I don't know if I could protect both of you guys when all the mobs are going to be going cray cray. But you guys do need to learn about the mobs and which ones to stay away from. All of them. And that evil king. But we're not going to go over. Oh, sorry. We're not going to go over there today because I'm afraid that if the king knows I have children, more children, he's going to like, you know, that, that other king over there, I, I, I don't even think he's that bad of a person. He, I don't think he intends to be that mean. He's pro oh my gosh, I keep hitting my children. Um, but I think he just thinks it's so funny 
And that's good enough. That, like, that gives him a reason to be mean because he thinks, oh, it's funny and that's it. Who's Stacy and Oakley? Are they your imaginary friends? You know what? If little if, uh, little Caden has imaginary friends, that is fine by me. As long as one day he realizes that those imaginary friends aren't real because I don't want him being like older and thinking those imaginary friends are real because then that's not going to be good. I want him to one day make real friends but i understand there's no one really in the village that has having children right now i think everyone's a little bit afraid to date especially after the miranda and little ricky situation uh just because everyone thought they were gonna make it so to see them not make it it's like what how are we ever gonna make it um so it's understandable but like i said cleveland seems to be all over the place to be honest with you he just seems to be he's like he's a player player so he's like flirting with all the girls and stuff while billy is like is com it's complete opposite billy is like he doesn't want to really i don't know it's not that he doesn't seem interested because I, I would say that that's not that's not true he's not and it's like he doesn't seem to put that as a priority that's not really important to him and i don't want to pressure him to to date if that's not what he wants to do but we have kent and Seth and then um, Autumn and Hazel who I think they're just trying to really find someone but they want to make sure it's the right choice um, so I suggest that they all kind of go on dates and just see how it goes um, my only concern is what if uh, Hazel and Autumn end up liking the same person then we're gonna run into a pickle because I'm not gonna want to get involved I'm not gonna want to choose for them but then what if they ask me to choose you know i'm their queen i'm supposed to i'm supposed to be able to solve their problems and to be honest with you i think seth and uh autumn make a really good couple and then hazel and kent i'm not sure it's not they're not bad for one another but i think i think for sure autumn and uh, seth you guys the two are doing very well keeping up we only need a few more because we're going to get all of these. And then we'll go make them into bricks. So we can fi finish finish building the house. We also need to get all the sugar cane we can find. Because we need to make lots and lots of books. Um, do we basically get all the clay in this lake area? That's all I want to do. But I saw a creeper. So I didn't want to go over there. And I do see some squids. So let's get those as well. What's wrong? Why are you upset? Um, Caden? Stop being annoyed then. All right, you're, are you good? Yes. All right, let's go. Why don't you play with my favorite, your favorite kid? You guys are all my favorite kids. I don't have a favorite. That's mean to, to have favorites. Don't say that. That is rude. I'll ground you. Okay, let me get this, this squid. Um, How many more? There's only two more. Did one go down? I'm not. Oh, whoa. Look at that. That's like squid paradise down there. Um, This one as well. Okay, they're going to be difficult to get. I'm going to get this pile. I'm going to go back to the house, start cooking some of them. And then uh, get the sugar cane. And I'm going to continue taking the kids with me because I think it's good for them to learn what hard work is. And the thing is, I think, especially Alicia, when she was younger, she really wanted to take on the responsibilities. of like She liked the idea of, oh, one day my, maybe I'll be a queen or something like that. And uh, she started seeing how I wasn't really home and stuff like that. And how, how much work it really is that she decided she didn't really want to do that. Um, I don't think little Ricky ever was really interested. <gasps> it's almost nighttime, guys. We have to go. We have to run as fast as we can, okay? Come on. Let's go through here. Let me break this fence. Come on, guys. Let's go. All right. Good job. You guys did a good job keeping up. So you guys will get a treat when we get home. Okay? Let's just go over there before it gets completely night. Come on, Kaden. Come on, Kiana. I don't know. Maybe I'll just give him a couple of diamonds. My house door's open. That's not good. Um, let's see. I'll give you guys a diamond each because you guys helped. And that is your reward. Interact. Gift. No, stop. Ah! Is it all mine? Yes, it is. Okay, now let's give Kiana hers. There we go. And then you two come in here. Oh, actually, I'm going to go to sleep. You guys go to sleep as well. Stop follow and stop follow. You guys go to bed. Don't jump on me while I'm sleeping. That's not very nice. I'm trying to make go to sleep. All right. Okay, so we did good. How's my hubby hubby doing? Always agitated as usual. 
And then we try to... Ew, that was wet and sloppy. Don't you have something better to talk about? Ugh, I think you've told me that one before. Oh my gosh. You're such a grumpy pants. Such a grumpy pants. I tried to make him um, be in a happy, fun mood and outgoing. But nope, every time I try to do that, he still go back to his normal, normal ways. Uh, so let me go ahead and get some sugar cane. And then we'll be... We'll be all done. I think I'm actually gonna just gonna cook it off off camera because there's no point in staring at a furnace watching the bricks cook. So hopefully next time we can at least get the outside of the school done. Maybe we'll furnish it together in uh, on the inside and stuff like that. It was nice spending the day with the kids for sure. Um, let me know who uh, who you think Cleveland will end up with, uh, Kristen or um, Skylar. I think it's whichever one is dumb enough to fall for him because. He's obviously not someone you want to settle down with right now. He is enjoying life. Alrighty, guys. But I hope you guys had fun watching. Please like, favorite, comment, and share. And I hope to see you in the next episode of Minecraft Comes Alive. Bye.